15th August 2021 marked exactly 50 years since the then US President Richard Nixon severed the link between the dollar and the gold, leading to the collapse of the Bretton Woods monetary system. As important as the collapse of the Soviet Union and the emergence of China, it has been almost unheard of by most people. So Ben, what was the Bretton Woods system and how is this collapse still impacting us today? Thanks Ray. So, the Bretton Woods system, well it's a monetary system and it came about towards the end of the Second uh, World War, about 1944. Uh, a group of nations came together uh, in a little known place called Bretton Woods in New Hampshire at the Mount Washington Hotel and they decided they needed to find a monetary order that would stabilize world economies for the future. So we've been through a very unstable period since the 1930s in the Great Depression. So what did they come up with? Well, they decided that they would uh, set the value of their monetary policy relative to their currencies. And their currencies would be pegged to the US dollar and in turn that US dollar would be pegged to a value, a set value of gold. Now here's the interesting thing about setting uh, your currency to gold. It in theory prevents your central bank from printing money in order to help a government fund its overdraft, let's say for over expenditure when they don't have enough tax revenues. And that's a great thing. Now, unfortunately, there was a major flaw in the Bretton Woods system. It relied heavily on the US itself to maintain a balance on its books. And as David will explain, ultimately, this flaw led to the demise of the Bretton Woods system in 1971. And ever since then, gold continued to rise through the roof. Over to you, David. So the rigors of the Cold War meant that balanced books were not always politically possible, and particularly not for the country that found itself bearing the principal cost of the Cold War. During the Vietnam War and the macro imbalances that that caused, countries like France started to demand gold instead of US dollars for, for the settlement of their trade account. And things deteriorated over the course of the late 60s, but finally came to a head in the early 70s as the US, US saw its um, gold coverage drop from about 55% of currency out to about 22%. And in 1971, the then president, uh, Richard Nixon, uh, severed the link between the dollar and gold um, in order to stop uh, gold bullion being transferred to international central banks to cover the dollars that were being held there. And the dollar became a fiat currency with that act, and it's been so ever since. So what did this mean for Singapore? Well, this was a big event for us. Since our independence, we had pegged our currency to the British pound and it was clear this would need to change. So the Board of Commissioners of Currency of Singapore gave way to the MAS and the Singapore dollar moved to the managed basket it is today. It is no coincidence that currency interchangeability ended and the Singapore and Malaysian stock markets split shortly afterward. Braham, what did this collapse mean for all of us? The end of Bretton Woods took away the fiscal and monetary discipline of gold, and we now see the runaway expansion of the global money supply. The US money supply has increased 35-fold since 1971, and so has that of most other countries. It's no wonder the price of everything has gone up. It's this inflation caused by the printing of money. With 35 times more dollars out there, and the inflation it has caused, one has to ask, how does a saver protect against that? Well, this is where gold comes back into the mix. Gold has already proven itself to be an ultimate protection against this monetary inflation. And the price of gold has increased from 35 to 1800 US dollars during this period, proving itself to be a long-term store of value. And that's why Hugo wants to help everybody harness the value of gold as part of their portfolio. But what does this mean for our Hugo Heroes? With the Hugo Gold Vault, Hugo Heroes can buy actual physical gold held in LPMA accredited box and insured by Lloyds of London. A gram of gold that you buy will not erode and will remain a gram in weight forever. 
Did you know that if you had invested $1,000 in 2015, it would have appreciated to about $1,600 today? Thanks everyone for explaining what the Bretton Woods system is, how its collapse is impacting us today still, and how the Hugo Gold Vault will let everyone have a safe and easy access to gold investment. Contrary to many people's belief, gold is not a product for the very rich. With Hugo, everyone can now access gold investment and grow their gold.